everyone, welcome to Marcus TV Gaming, playing Ultima Blister number two. I don't think I mentioned that last week's show, or last time I'm on the show. So, but yes, we're playing, I am playing Ultima Blister two. I don't know why I keep saying we, I am playing Ultima Blister number two. Uh, and it's a race two of round three at Imola. Now, last time out, I had a horrible race. I was all over the road, I hit walls, you know, it's just unbelievable. So, I... Uh, I got the settings right now uh, where I'm sh I'm happy that it should go well. So I moved the brake, brake bias back a bit. And, uh, yeah, it uh, didn't send me into the wall so far. So we'll see how we go because it's in the fog again. And normally you have that little bit of drizzle and fogs around the place. So it could be wet track or something like that. So we'll see how it goes. So there's a quick summary of the points. Todd Norbury leads by, um, I'm trying to think now, it's about... Yeah, nearly half. Just a half for 20, 20 something points. Um, so he's ahead of, from me. I need a win. I don't think I'll win outright, but I do need a win to get those points back. Roger Lopez is in third, and Dave Stevenson will be fourth. Fernando Oliveira Jr., who finished in third place, will get fifth place. Uh, is in fifth place in the championship. Ezekiel leads the GT Classic class. If I can't. Can't even get my words out. Uh, he leads from number whiskey in second place. He's got a nice little bit of lead. You can see there, 137 to 124. And Jose Lopez is closer to Nabu. We're one point behind. Malov is behind them as well. In the sorry, Molov is in the leader, I should say, VT in the VTC class. Molov is. Sorry, I don't know why City's behind them. He is uh in the outrights, he is, but in the class, he is ahead of Carlos Andre, who is second, and Bruno Mendes is in third place. So, 25 cars. We'll see how everything goes. Hopefully, better this time. Let's go to our second race here in round three of Imola. Okay, let's have a look at the starting grid. You can hear the announcers in the background at, at the racetrack. But on the front row, Todd Norby is on pole position from Dave Stevenson in second place. Frank Fernando Oliveira Jr. will start in third, with Roger Lopez in fourth place. I will start fifth, which I'm surprised because I finished seventh, so obviously the points I will get a uh, fifth place start. Is it called start in the GT class, class classic class, in, ahead of Mabrowski in second? Carlos Andre is third, and then Kyle Molov is in third. So Molov is in it. GTLC. I think he's in the big but I got that wrong. Uh, Koskin is leading the VTC pole with 19th, but he's starting front in front of the team will be Dom Lovrick. Then we've got Rob Thompson and Lee Chorley as well. So 25 cars. Let's see how I'll do better. One hour race. Track is 8 degree. Six degrees, and it is eight, so that's a, it's more it's cold out there and windy, uh, not windy, I should say, foggy as well. So I'm not sure how I'll go. Wish me luck, hopefully, it's better. Let's go for it. So here we go. to the start finish line now all over the place because it's cold about to get Rick green and we're underway the second one hour race Great pass by him. Is that Molin? It is three wide into the hairpin. <laughs> all over the place, all over the place. Cold tyres and all on the grass. Uh, didn't want to be on that, but that's okay. Oh, gun inside, but I'll decide not to.
first bend. Do the cold tyres. Oh my, the place. Trying to get a, get a good run, but it's not working. Have to get off the kerbs, it's pretty slippery. Oh, who was that? That is Brazera on the grass. Got a good run out there. Let's see if we can pass him up here at the hill. Going for it, going for it. Oh, for them, it looks like. Yep, I do. Shot a bit in the corner, but that's all right. Here, it's going to be interesting. Oh, we touched a bit. Sorry, got past Oliveira Jr. So, back to fourth. Now, catching up the top three up ahead. Do my best to keep away from those curves. That's what happened last time. I was sent into the wall there. Brakes are way much better than they were the last time. Oh, gone wide there a bit. Here comes Oliveria. Right past because we've got the chicane up here. Is coming up on the outside of me. Give him a bit of room. I have to take a shortcut on the grass, which I did not want to do. He's gone by. It's all right. I'll catch up to him again. The car's way better now than it was before. That's all right. Aubrey is 11 seconds behind, in front of me uh, in the race lead. So I'll have to see how well I can catch up to him. Got lap traffic up ahead. Oh, Olivera checked up. I go by both him and the BMW. Three BMWs together again.
for the two fourth and third place cars. No names hold them up a bit. I get a bit of a better run there, not too much. We'll see how it go. Almost 10 minutes to in the race. Chicane, but it's all right. I'll keep going quicker. I'll catch up to him. Up traffic again. So we got out of the way. Thank you to him. I don't know who it was, but thank you. Oh, here we go. Handle. Between Lopez. I I go past Lopez. A little spin again. That's Stevenson. I'm gonna go around this Corvette. Side by side. This is gonna be this is gonna be out. Yeah. I've had to get out of it. Oh, they get caught up. They don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna have to go on the outside. In on the inside. I'm on the grass a bit. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was crazy. Caught up here again. Oh, wheel spin. Oh, wheel spin. On the grass. Get off it. Oh, I lost the time because of the wheel spin. <sighs> That's alright. I'm going on the outside, which I did not expect to do. Setup is way better now than it was in race one. No traffic head. Lopez caught up. Still caught up. I got wheel spin again. It's going to be interesting. Oh, hit him. No harm, no foul. It's all good. Whoa. Contact. I have to let him go in front of me. Battle for third. In the Group C class. Can I go on the inside of him? Oh. Tagged him. I'll have to let him go because I tagged him. Try again. Slow car ahead. Corvette, where he's going to go? He's going to stay on the outside. No, he doesn't. Oh my gosh. Lucky I, I knew he was going to do that, so thank goodness I slowed down. Three, ten minutes in this race. change dude. <laughs> Slam right in the back of him. I think that was Zeke or I'm not too sure. That wasn't. But lost a lot of time there but that's alright. I can catch up. The car's really good now. So they got a bit of gap now. Try not to hit him this time. Actually, that's might be Thomas. Thompson. 
I think they just don't say anything. So I lost a bit of time there, I think 10 seconds. So that car can catch up. Seconds now behind, so I have to catch up to Lopez again, but he will have traffic ahead, so it will help. Almost 15 minutes in this race already. I'm having so much fun than I did in the first race. There's three BMWs again together. Lopez again, he must have got caught up as I just took a shortcut a bit. Amazing I'm not getting any penalty because I do have the penalty set on. Up traffic again. No, caught up, so caught up again. Three Corvettes. Has to be looking in the mirror and going, oh no, not you again. Oh, I've gone way wide a bit, but brakes help me there. On the grass a bit. It's alright. So we're nearly 45 minutes to go, 15, nearly 15 minutes in this race. Probably pit stop around 30 minute mark. It's a really good car out there, better than it was in the first race. up here. I know it's getting out of my way, thank you. I think there was no note. That's all right. I'm going to set up my pit stop now. are pretty hard to drive over. The 
17 minutes into this race nearly. Hard to believe that's gone that quick. Oh. The pace had to get on the accelerator off the accelerator off the on the accelerator again. Traffic again, I'm on the grass, but it's not going to worry me. Just gently get on the brake. Go apart, Team W in the front, he got caught up with him, Lopez did. So in the lead, Tom Norbury leads by eight seconds to Stevenson. Lopez third on fourth. He's equal leading the GT Classic uh, class. Lopez held up with traffic. Stevenson's held up with traffic as well. Oh, we both held up with traffic. On the grass again. Sorry. He did his best to get out of the way and I'm on the grass. Lost a bad little time again. Are they getting caught up in traffic and I'm going to be off the circuit? Oh, seriously. Nope, we can't go. Go, 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 go. Come on. All that time lost. Catch up again now, lost a lot of time, I lost 20. Boy, only 20 seconds. I think Oliveira Jr. is not far behind me, I haven't looked yet. Yep, he's probably less than 10 seconds. before halfway I'll do the pit stop and then I'll do the top three in every class to see who's leading you know the top two, you know, first two I'll see who's in the Phoenix touring car class
six minutes to go nearly. Six and a half minutes to go before we halfway. seconds behind now from Lopez so obviously they have not had traffic issues because they would have dropped oh, oh boy that would have hurt all good keep going Frost Dukes has it stolen there, they mean to, just misjudge my braking again. to go, five minutes halfway to halfway. So it'll be two laps before I come in the pits. Two BMW drivers. Right, this one he wasn't going like me, but he just had to. Nice run out of that one. Rap tires spinning the tires. That was pretty good. So I'm 27 seconds behind the leader, Tom Norbury, so hopefully I can catch up when he hits. So I'll be catching up to third place, Stevenson. Lopez has passed Stevenson for a second. Six seconds behind the third place, and I just saw him there in the corner. That's Stevenson. So one more minute, I might come in the pits 
Send him closer to Stevenson. Might help. That is 23 seconds behind Norbury, who's leading. this time around. He's coming to the pits as well. So he's coming to the pits. Stevenson having trouble here. I don't know how trouble is working. We're gonna spin. Side by side, let me side by side, but I'm going to pits anyway. So here I go. So Morby will be going out by now. Nope, he's just in there still. So, let's see, here we go. <laughs> there goes Norby. See, so here we go. Next time around, I'll do the top three place getters in the top three class. Short sure, repair, good. Away we go. Here we go, we are now only 29 minutes to go. So 43 behind the race leader, who is Lopez. No, I didn't actually. I'm on the grass. Oh, hang on. So they come around. And here comes. <sighs> yep, there goes Bizarre. And I'm all on the grass. Come on, dude. Oh, that screwed that up. Still got good tyres on us, so we'll see how we go. But anyway, let's have a look at the top three. Any all the top three class. See who's leading where.
the top three, and Rob Thomas is leading in the vintage touring car class. Oh, we got a lot of traffic here, what the? Oh, I didn't know I was going to go through there, but I did. Missed Zara. That was close. I was going. I thought I was going to tag him and spin him around, but I didn't. That was lucky. Oh, well, going to go on the inside. Maybe a good thing. Maybe not. Wasn't a good thing. Catch up now for 56 seconds behind the race leader. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> right on his tail there. I might get him on the. No, I don't think I will. Or will I? Yes, I will actually. Cut him inside. Side by side. We'll all come out of that, okay. Get a bit of a draft from Bowling. Oh, yeah, we both had to get off the accelerator there. We might get him. Get on the outside. This is bad. Maybe not. Got him. Maybe. No, oh, he's just ahead. Got him. Wow, that was brave. <laughs> Sorry, dude, but I have to go through. Oh, I'm going to spin in. We'll spin in again. Still 56 behind the race leader. Side with. Oh no, we're going to go outside. We touched a bit. No harm, no foul. All good. Stevenson's coming to the pits, so he passed Lopez and he's coming to the pits. Let's see if I can catch up to him. Oops, sorry dude. I think that was I don't know who that was. No, that's that's Thompson in the head. Just gonna buy him. Oh, my 
us a bit. Stevenson just left the pits. The second time I had a save, I had to press the brakes and get off the brakes and press it again. That did work. I thought it was going to go in the kitty litter again. Let's see if I can catch up. Twenty, maybe twenty minutes to go. Another car in the pit. Have a look in the minute because I'm going to be off. This time, don't spin it. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. That's it. Lost a bit of time. Oliveira Junior's in the pit. Pass Oliveira, so it'll take me to fourth place. We're still on the way now from Stevenson after my mistake there. So we need some really good laps. I don't know how that's going to happen every time I make a mistake, but just hope for the best, I guess. The zero's in the pits as well. Slayer's in the pit. That is Lopez. Gave me a bit of room, which I escorted him off the road. Sorry about that. Oh, Pierce just coming out of the pits. I think that team just coming out. So I gained some some speed because I'm now 33 seconds behind the race leader. So I don't know how that happened, but anyway. Sorry to the number 12.
John Ulrey retakes the lead again. Ezekiel is now in eighth place. I think he was already was eighth place. And right, but lead in the GT Classic class, so he's still got that. Now 28 seconds behind the race leader. So that was impressive. Do I have time? I don't know. 16 seconds, nearly. And I just see Lopez up, just going up the hill here. There he is. Black traffic, not helping. BMW, yes I will. There's Lopez. Mercedes in front of me there, it sounds awesome. So we have 15 minutes to go. Always hold up, traffic. for third place. Got another approach shot up ahead, I don't know if he's lapped. It might be David Stevenson, is it? I'm looking at the time of the Yep, Stevenson, so this is better for second now. Porsche versus Porsche. And he gets caught up with the BMW. Oh, little spit, little spit. Oh, he's caught up there. I'm going to go on the inside. It's second. Okay, so let's see. I'm 25 seconds behind. I do really don't know, but I'm going to get my best to try and catch up with Tom Norby. Let's see how I go.
spin. Number 32, I'm now 19 seconds. It's not impossible to catch him, so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Come the pits, Mullins come the pits. We're going to spin in the chicane there. And lap traffic. But I oh, and there goes my hood and some debris just flying out there. It's alright, don't need the lights because it's not night time. So once again, I'm now out of hood. Oh, I've got 21 seconds now there with that. Oh, that was close, I wasn't sure if he was going to come down or not. Oh my gosh, I scared the Porsche driver. He Tank's left. Wow. I thought he was gone. I just scared. It looks like I scared him. I just zoomed that quick. He lost control. I don't think he thought I was going to go on the outside there. He held it anyway, so he's still going. seconds but I'm now down to nine minutes to go so I'm not giving up oh they hit that bump again I might have to give up now because I lost a bit of time but I'm not giving up now Come on. 17 seconds so I've just lost two seconds oh no I'm pushing it too hard yep okay so come on to spin, come on. Well, I'm going to settle for a second. I did my best. But I'll try again, but I don't think I can catch it this time. I've lost a lot of time. 24 seconds now. But I'll get second, so I'll, I'll take that if, if it needs to be. But we'll see. We'll see. You might have any trouble with the traffic. I'm 24 seconds, so I really don't know if I can catch him or not. But we'll give it a go. Seven minutes to go now. Seven minutes now to go. Sorry, dude. Oh, so sorry. I had to go through. But hang on, I need to catch up. Sorry about that. 
came down on it just as I was about to pass him there. And 21 minutes. Yeah, it's it's sketchy. I'm not too sure I can do this. But we'll give it a go anyway, see if I can catch him. Five minutes to go, 17 seconds behind. Lap traffic ahead, that's a lap court. Porsche car prototype. He's in trouble and he's gonna, he's gonna let me buy. Oh, sorry, no name. I think it was no name up in front of me. Oh. That's Pazera. Oh, amazing, I'm catching up to him with no front on the car. Damn, that was close. I thought I was going to. Miss my braking. Oh good. 14 seconds. Four, nearly four minutes to go. About four minutes to go. See car up ahead. That's rolling. Oh, I'm hitting. I just went on the grass. Sorry, dude. Let him go ahead of me. That was my fault. 12 seconds. Oh, I'm not too sure I can catch him. I keep saying that, but it's 12 seconds. Now 11 seconds. Oh, 2 minutes and 44 seconds to go. Now 10 seconds. Is he caught up in lap traffic? 9 seconds. Down to 9 seconds. So you got caught up in traffic, there's a lot of traffic up ahead. Thompson there, down to 8 seconds, we have probably got one more lap to go so I'm not too sure I can do it. That 
traffic up ahead. Down to six seconds. He must be caught up in that traffic. He is, that team up ahead. This is going to be a close race. One more lap to go, I do believe. There he is up ahead. I've got to get past this traffic. Oh, he's on the grass here. To get on the grass, then past that car. I'm right there. Right there. Last lap. What's going to happen? That's a bad, 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 not, bad mistake. Oh, and I blew it. I blew it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I blew it. He's going to get that. I got on the grass and it set me on the shortcut to the chicane. And that's it. I'll get second. But boy, that would have been, if I didn't have that problem, that would have been awesome racing to the finish line. But anyway, it, so that, this second race was a lot of fun. So I'm just going to finish it off in the second place. Ugh, what the heck is going on? Slow down, let him go by because that was my fault. I'm still second, thankfully, but I'm not by much now. So the checker flag has come out. So checker flag has come out. The race is over. I get second. Low pass wins, but it would have been so close if I didn't make that stupid mistake, and that's your cane. But anyway, I'll take second. Better than not, the first race. Way better. The car was setting was really awesome this time. So let's go and have a look at the results. So here are the results in the second race. It was a lot of fun. I really didn't think I was going to catch him, but on the last lap I did, and then I made a silly mistake in the in the, one of the chicanes there. And then for some reason I tagged Mauling for some reason. I don't know if I was too close to him or what, but... I might have got on the brakes too hard and just let me loose a bit and ran into him. But anyway, Todd Norbury takes the win from yours truly in second. Third goes to Roger Lopez. Fourth will go to Dave Stevenson. Fifth, Bernard Oliver Jr. Sixth will go to Philippi Bazira and Rue Mullen. who I've got his run with the last place. Ezekiel will take the GT Classic Class with Alexander Wolski in second. Carlos Andre will be third. In the Vintage Touring Car Class, Rob Thompson takes the win from Dom Lindbrick and Costa will finish third with Rapelli in fourth place. Lee Chorley and Rodrigoni will finish fifth and sixth. With Jonathan Simpson will finish not the last. So the points go 50-50. So apparently I've got 50 points for some reason. I really don't know what that's about. Tom Norby gets 50, 40 to Roger Lopez, and then Dave Stevens with Nando Oliver with 5th, Philippa Berzera 6th, and none for both with Berzera and Rowling, unfortunately. Zeke will get 28 points to 26 to Bulski. Arcos will get 25, 24 to Rowling. And in the finished touring card class, Rob Thompson will get 15 points, the 16 to 15 for Lee Chorley and Ricardo gets 15 as well. So the outright win for both races, Todd Norbury gets that with a win. In second will go to Dave Stevenson. I will get uh, third outright, so I'm happy with that after a disappointing race one. Roger Lopez will drop to fourth, and fifth will go to Fernando Oliveira Jr. No points for Lopez there, or more impact, but some points down the road. 
outright win for Ezekiel with uh, Borski in second. Andre will get in third place. And in the vintage touring car class, it will be Koskin taking the outright win from Thomas. And then Donald Rick will be in fourth place. The championship round. Todd Norbury is ahead of Marcus Mayhem, 306 points to 277, 275, sorry. Race is far from over. Roger Lopez will get 251 points. Dave Stewart will get uh, for fourth place with three, 238 and 210 for Fernando Oliver Jr. So I thought I lost second place, but I didn't. Ezekiel has a 15 points lead ahead of Nobuski in second. He's got, got a five, five, five uh, points ahead of Lopez. And in the vintage touring car class, it's uh, a tie up the front with Thompson and Lovric with third place Cavill, uh, Koskin, sorry, uh, with third place by one point. So, hope you guys enjoy that. That was much better than my first race, I can tell you. When you enjoy it, the time goes flying by. When you don't enjoy it, it, it goes slow. So, but anyway, we're head to the next round, and that's at Silverstone Historic Circuit, the uh, classic Formula One track before it's what it looks like now. Um, so that is going to be round four. Then we got uh, Portugal after that before we head to the Nürburgring in Germany for round six. Montreal in North America again for seventh and eighth with Montreal Historic Circuit and Laguna Seca. Then we're back to Europe with Jerez. The famous Spa Frankenshop Historic Circuit 93 track will be round 10 with Monza. We're back in Italy with Monza. Round 11. Round 12 at Japan, at Kansai. Uh, round 13 will be in South Africa on Kalami Historic Circuit. Kalami, and then finishing off on the street circuits at Adelaide to finish it off. I hope these guys enjoy that. Like I said, second race was much fun than the first one and uh, on the last show. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And I'll catch you next time on Marcus TV Gaming. Bye for now.